This is Football Friday Night, presented by McCoy Federal Credit Union. Week 7, it's the end of the second trimester, just one more month until the playoffs are due. Yeah, I had a baby. Most of tonight's games were not district matchups, but under the new RPI system, every game still counts toward the playoff standings. St. Cloud and Osceola keeping that in mind in our McCoy Game of the Week. This was the 96th meeting between these two teams. Cowboys and Bulldogs started playing back in 1925. Calvin Coolidge was the president. Back to present day. Third play of the game. St. Cloud forgets to cover the guy running down the middle of the field. And Devon Wells finds him. That's Kevin Sanchez. He's going to run until they tell him not to. 6 0 Osceola. Next possession for the Cowboys. This time, Dwayne McGee makes one cut. And you can forget about it. He goes 30 yards to the house. 12 0 Osceola. And they just kept going. This time from 33 out, Rashawn Dudley, proud of his figure, showing off the midriff. And showing off the speed, he visits the happy place. Not so happy for Brian Smart. Three and a half minutes in, it's 20 to nothing Osceola. Still in the first. Wells starts left, runs into a little traffic, takes the exit for Osceola Parkway. And oh yeah, all sorts of room there. Green lights all the way down inside the five. They would score a few plays later. It was 33 to nothing at halftime. After a field goal in the third for Osceola, Cowboys got back to touchdowning in the fourth. Isaiah Jean-Baptiste gets all the way down to the one. He wanted the TD. They'd get it eventually as Osceola pitches a shutout against their longtime rival. Shane Whitehead got to see it all and afterwards hung out with the winning coach. So the 96th meeting between these two schools goes to Osceola. The Cowboys continued their dominance in this series. They've now won 21 of the last 23 meetings with tonight's 43 to nothing win. I mean, I thought we played pretty efficient tonight. You know, we appreciate the kids get off to a fast start. We did a great job of doing that tonight. Offense great in the first quarter. You had some long touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, we did. We had, you know, had game playing pretty well there for the first couple of series. And took advantage of that and made a couple of big plays. How have you guys dominated this series? You just won your 20 first out of 23. Uh, great coaching staff and uh, a bunch of great football players. Your kids want the bragging rights. They certainly earned them tonight. Absolutely. And like I said, this game still means, you know, even though we're spread out now with eight high schools in this county, this game still means something to our kids. You got your 101st win as Cowboys head coach tonight. How have you done that? Just like I said a minute ago, I had some great coaching staff, so I great assistant coaches over the years and great football players. With win number 101, Coach Nichols' team improves to 5-1. and one. The Bulldogs fall to 5-1. and one. At Osceola High School, Shane Whitehead, football, Friday night on 9.